Hello guys, this is Terry from Genki Game and we're back with another One Piece theory. I'd like to thank Lucas Diamond for the sweet track Stand to Fall. You can check out his channel, it's down below in the comment. I'm sure if you're enjoying the music, he would appreciate a subscribe. But moving on, today's One Piece theory is about the man, the myth, the legend himself. The 14th Division Commander of the Whitebeard Pirate Speed Zero. So, like all of our theory slash discussions, we go over a small overview and then we'll go into some details on how his skills can could have been perfected. He uh, seems to be a somewhat round character that has an average height, which means he's a little bit stocky to a certain degree. He has a brown fez, a white like robe covering that has the white beard pirate insignia on it. And he also has brown sleeves and what looks to be brown leggings on. He wields a jousting lance for a weapon and a golden heater shield that has the white beard purple insignia on it. He is extremely loyal to his crew. Uh, he showed that in uh, multiple shots in the anime and in the manga. Like the other commanders, he had control over the lower ranking subordinates. He was shown during the anime to move with such extreme speed that he was able to take out a group of marines within the time of like mere seconds. He was also able to uh, dodge one of Kizaru's lasers by jumping back, which shows that his observation hockey must be really high, must be some of the best observation hockey that we may have low-key seen thus far. He may have something similar to Katakuri on the certain standpoint, being able to dodge at the last second. And also, he has been shown to have like different body structures over the time of the Marine Ford arc, slightly just like different body size desperation or something to that degree, where the where his body looks a little bit bigger or smaller, depending upon where the shot was taken from. I think this has to deal with the life return ability. I've talked about life return before being such a great ability, being able to absorb a bunch of calories and then use it as energy immediately. I believe that Luffy has a certain degree of the life return ability as well, but we're not talking about him right now. I just wanted to reference the fact that many of the Straw Hats probably have a certain degree of the life return ability. But moving on, we're going to talk about the heater shield, or the heater shaped shield. It is a uh, form of European medieval shield developed from the early Middle Age kite shield in the late 12th century as depicted in a great seal of Richard the First. It's smaller than a kite shield which makes it more manageable and could be used either while mounted or on foot. From the 15th century, it evolved into a highly specialized jousting shield, often containing a bouchet, a notch, or a mouth for the lance to pass through. And as plate armor began to cover more and more of the body, the shield grew correspondingly smaller until by the mid 14th century. It was hardly seen outside of normal jousting tournaments. But, Heater shields were typically made up of thin wood overlaid with leather. leather. Uh, however, some of these shields were also reinforced with certain forms of metal, either iron or steel, to reinforce the shields, making them sturdier. And the heater shield also has a strap that allows it to be slung over your back when not in use. 
And here's some additional information about the heater shield. And this is just some reference material from the high middle age. It's from the 11th century to the 14th century when medieval jousting was still properly practiced in connection to the use of lances in warfare. Armor evolved at that time from mail to a, a more solid plate mail, essentially a heavy helmet or great helm, and to plate armor after that. And by 1400, knights wore full suits of plate armor called a harness. And in this early period, a joust was still a martial meeting, aka a duel or something in general where each combatant would be riding a horse at each other with their lances. And it would essentially continue until uh, one of the fighters was unhorsed. So that's some background information, but Harut, I mean, ugh, I just did the Haruta theory and I still have his name stuck in my head and I still have it on the reference sheet by accident, but Speed Jiru, he seems to be a ground based fighter, there's no horses seen as of yet, he seems to be more than capable of sprinting or running with his lance and shield out to plow through opposing marines. So moving forward, he didn't participate in any large fights except for the division commanders and Andre and Crocodile versus Akainu. But he was seen several times pushing the line forward with his fighting style of basically run and gun if you think about it, or run and lance. So I think after the time skip, his ability to use Observation Hockey had advanced a little bit further to the point where it's similar to Katakuri's to the degree where he's able to see seconds ahead in the future and that he's able to have full mastery of Armament Hockey as well. There was some mention of him potentially having a Double Fruit as well and if I had to guess what Double Fruit that could be even though we've seen no proof of a double fruit whatsoever, I would want him to have the Rhino Zone Double Fruit. Rhinos charge, he charges. It makes a lot of sense. The rhinos have great stamina, he has great stamina. I feel like his stamina must have increased tenfold from all of the training he has to go through to proficiently use his heater shield and his jousting lance and to sprint the distances at the speed that he moves at. I believe that he has to have an immense amount of stamina which would make a uh, an ability like having its own double fruit that would increase your stamina a huge amount would be significant. But like I said, no proof of his own double fruit. There's just been some things that have applied that he may or may not have a double fruit. But let's look at situation A, which is he has the Rhino Double Fruit. Well, I'm saying a Rhino because I just think him being a Rhino would be really awesome. Because he already plows through enemies. The Jousting Lance could be like a horn that he uses to like impale and basically plow through all of his opponents. The shield can be symbolic of his thick hide as well. I think if he was his own user, he does have masteries over all three forms. Hybrid form, full animal form, and his normal human form. But I do believe that he may have been able to fully awaken the extra attic parts of being his own. Basically the extended stamina, the extended strength and recovery abilities. That along the lines with the observation hockey advancements and the shown observation hockey and potential armament hockey that he does have that he may have mastered does make him a cutting edge competitor. 
hopefully we will see him in the Wano War arc, which is what I'm referring to Kaido's arc as, the Great Wano War arc. I do want to thank you guys for uh, coming and listening to this theory. I do appreciate the views, the likes, the subscribes. Thank you for your time. I've been Terry with Yankee Gaming, and I am out. Have yourselves a great morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye.